The Titanoboa was a 48-foot-long, two-ton snake that ate crocodiles for breakfast. It was the biggest snake to have ever lived in the history of our planet, and it lived 60 million years ago during the Paleocene era. If Titanoboa were alive today, it would most definitely pose a threat to humanity, most specifically humanity that lived in tropical rainforests near the equator. But if Titanoboa didn't go extinct, would that mean it would be invincible? Today, Life's Biggest Questions asks, how could you defeat a Titanoboa snake? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that imagines the impossible. I'm Charlotte Dobre and thanks for checking out another one of our videos. And a big welcome to all our new subscribers who found our channel through our video, What If The Titanoboa Snake Didn't Go Extinct? As a big thank you, we've decided to make a series of videos on the Titanoboa snake, expanding on that idea. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video where we will be responding to some of your comments. And if you want to connect with the creative team behind Life's Biggest Questions, check out the description for all the links to our social media. There are huge snakes like anacondas and pythons that are alive in this day and age that are capable of killing humans and swallowing them whole. Giant pythons have made headlines for swallowing humans, like back in June of 2018, when a 23 foot python swallowed an Indonesian woman whole after she had gone to check on her vegetable garden. This python was killed by the residents of the Indonesian town so they could extract the body of the slain woman from its belly. A 23 foot python is still half the size of Titanoboa, a snake that would have been much harder to kill. So how could you you defeat a Titanoboa snake? Well, Titanoboas would be extremely difficult to evade if they were roaming around the jungle, hungry because they hadn't eaten in weeks. 58 million years ago, Titanoboa was the king of the jungle. They required warmer tropical climates and would likely only live near the equator. Titanoboa hunted mostly in water and was a swimmer. It would be very difficult to navigate the swampy terrain of the rainforest, let alone do so when there was a giant snake slithering about. Titanoboa had a huge jaw with sharp teeth pointed toward its throat that kept the prey moving toward its stomach. Like other snakes, its strike was probably very fast, and it moved around effortlessly. But does that mean it would be impossible to defeat a Titanoboa snake? Well, maybe for early humans who didn't know much about it, but I highly doubt indigenous people, if they did manage to live at the same time as Titanoboa, would know nothing about how to defeat or evade Titanoboa. After all, when it comes down to it, Titanoboa was a snake, and snakes are not invincible. In fact, they have one very notable weakness. Sure, to be killed by a Titanoboa would not be a fun experience. Like other snakes, Titanoboa would wrap around its prey so it couldn't escape. Every time its victim exhales, Titanoboa's grip around it gets tighter, eventually causing its prey to suffocate. That's when Titanoboa opens its jaws that are equipped with flexible ligaments and proceeds to swallow its prey whole. Even though this might seem like a terrifying scene, swallowing such a huge victim is not an easy thing for a snake, even a snake as big as old Tebow. Yes, I just called him Tebow, and yes, it does kind of make him seem less scary, but I like that nickname. After Tebow has consumed its prey whole, that is when it's most vulnerable. Titanoboa is going to be stuffed to the brim until it fully digests its meal. I mean, that's pretty relatable. It's pretty difficult to do anything but watch TV after going back for second helpings at your mom's Thanksgiving feast. I can't imagine Titanoboa would have a very easy time doing anything either after eating a whole crocodile. It's not clear how long it would take for Titanoboa to digest a pig or a crocodile, or even a human. The warmer a snake's body is, the faster they digest their food. It takes three to five days for a regular sized snake to digest its food. And huge anacondas from South Africa eat larger prey, so their digestion takes weeks. I would imagine the same would be true for Titanoboa. The good news is, this would be the perfect time to attack a Titanoboa snake. As I previously stated in my last video, if you want to set a trap for this great snake, you could do so using its favorite food source, either a crocodile or a pig. Snakes are known to be notoriously picky eaters. If they don't find any suitable prey, they go weeks without eating. Titanoboa wouldn't be able to help itself if it came across a victim in the jungle so beautifully set out for it to eat. Once Titanoboa scarfs down its meal, it would be pretty much helpless. Indigenous peoples could have attacked Titanoboa using spears or even slicing it in two using a huge sword. And of course in modern times, when a Titanoboa had consumed its meal, it would be easy to kill it using modern weapons like guns firing at its head. So there you have it. That is all for this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. But before we wrap up this video, I'm going to respond to some comments from our original video, What if the Titanoboa snake didn't go extinct? Rusli Dharmawan said, If they didn't go extinct, we will make them extinct. That is our nature. I mean, true enough. Let's be realistic here. Vince Norija said, Oh hell no, if this thing still existed then I'd voluntarily go extinct. I second that. As I said, I really don't like snakes, especially not Titanoboa snakes. Cell phone Bahaha said, They would never survive today because the oxygen levels are very low compared to its time. 
also very true. Back when Titanoboa was alive, there were plenty of animals and insects that were much larger than we're used to, and that's because there was far more oxygen in the atmosphere. And also because the earth was hotter back then. Christiana Ogbuli said, Is it just me, or is that snake like the basilisk from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Definitely not the same snake because Titanoboa was real. ADHD Tard said, Let's be glad it's extinct. Agreed. Snakes are my least favorite animal, even though I am a Slytherin. That is all for this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. Thanks so much for spending a few of your valuable minutes with us. If you want to go on an LBQ binge, check out the playlist that's clickable on your screen. And turn on those notifications by clicking the bell so I can see you in a future episode of Life's Biggest Questions.